All right, folks, welcome to Arduino for Beginners. This is Arduino 101. Uh, let's take a look at this motion detecting sensor, also known as a knock sensor. Now, if you look at this, it is a clear plastic cube. Uh, not a cube, excuse me. It's a box with a long spring inside it and a couple of wires. So um, you can see I have mine wired up to this LED here. And when it bangs on something or that little spring is vibrated, it sends a signal and activates the light. So this light's wired up the same way as the last time through that 220 ohm resistor. I just switched it out with the green one. The code we're looking at is two integers. It's a vibe pin and LED pin. So the vibe pin is your signal that goes into number seven. And the LED pin is your output to whatever you're trying to power with that knock. So in this case, we've got it going out to our resistor, then through our LED and then returning to ground and the negative and positive are to ground and five volt respectively. So pretty self-explanatory. We're gonna go into setup. We're gonna set up two pin modes for both of the pins that we just entered. And the vibration pin is gonna be input. The LED pin is again gonna be output. So very similar to last time, as is the loop. We're gonna get a value. We're gonna set it down here this time. And, and we are going to instantiate it here, I mean, and then we are going to set it right here to read the pin. And if that value is low, we are going to turn the digital right on to LED pin high and then set a delay of half a second. If we don't set that delay, it will immediately go back to being off and it'll just flash for a second. So you can change that delay. It looks pretty good between a half a second and a second, which is 500 to 1,000 as far as letting you know that the device is working. And you can see it light up pretty well there. Let me see if I can fix the lighting a little bit, make it a little easier to see here. There we go. And there it is. Um, it's also lighting up the LED that I'm using the output on the uh, nano or the Uno board itself. So then we are gonna go to else in digital right low. Um, pretty self-explanatory stuff. There are tons of applications you can use this guy for um, other than just detecting motion or detecting knocking uh, but uh, this is about as far as we're going to go into this sensor it's pretty simple and pretty self-explanatory I mean um, you could place them if you wanted to know if somebody was entering an area and have it set off a light in another area and just kind of as an alarm system or something like that among several other possible applications so um, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Stay tuned for the next sensor. We will be right back. Well, that's it, guys. That's going to wrap up this video. If you've noticed the shirt, the merch is available. Go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below. It won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers, and so far I am just about to hit 5,000. So uh, it'll be a little while, a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel, but they are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out and know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link. Check out our Patreon link. Leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.